selecting the proper kite board. There's a lot of equipment out there today and it can be really confusing, especially to the beginner that hasn't actually kite boarded yet. So let's try and take some of the mystery out of all these board choices. What I want to do today is talk mostly about sizes of kite boards and then hone it down into the style of kite board and what you should be looking for a good quality kite board. First off, when, you buy, when you're buying your kite board, you want to be thinking, do I want to buy two kite boards or do I want to buy one kite board? Really the advantage of buying two kite boards far outweighs the advantage of buying one kite board. And let's, let's talk about what those advantages are. My first kite board should be a large kite board. What is a large kite board? What is a small kite board? Here I have a large kite board. A kite board is measured most commonly simply by the length of the board. So from the tip to the tip, it's measured in centimeters. This is a 158 centimeter kite board. The other way to measure a kite board is across the width of the board, and that will help to determine its overall volume. This board is 40 centimeters wide by 158 centimeters long, so you can start to determine its volume. Size-wise, you want to get the largest board that you can for your weight. The heavier you are, the bigger the board, the lighter you are, the smaller your board is. Generally, for larger guys, around 200 pounds or bigger, they should get something, a, a larger board, larger than 158 centimeters. 158 centimeters or larger. If you're an average size guy, somewhere in the neighborhood of a 160, 170 pounds, go with the 158 centimeter kite board. And if you're a lighter guy, say 130 pounds or lighter, you want to drop down to a 148 centimeter size. Now that first kite board, big board that we're talking about, offers significant advantages over smaller boards. Let's discuss three of the most important advantages that you get with a large kite board. A large kite board, because it has more volume, will allow you to go out with less kite power. Less kite power is great learning because that means it's easier to manage. You're not getting pulled around by the kite, you're not getting physically exhausted. You can focus your energy on placing everything just right on your board and being successful. So going out with less kite power. The board planes easier because it has more volume. The second thing is it stays afloat even when you make mistakes with the kite. So a larger board will slide through or plane through mistakes made with kite placement. In the beginning, your kite placement isn't going to be dialed in. You're going to make mistakes. Any tiny lack of power from the kite won't result in the board immediately sinking. Because it's a bigger board, it can sail right through that and cover many of the beginner mistakes and allow you to progress faster. The third advantage of a large kite board is simply going out in lighter wind. You will never outgrow this kite board because it will become your light wind machine. The midsummer days when the winds are a little bit light, this is the board that gets you off the beach onto the water and makes it fun. So you just simply can't kiteboard in light winds with a small board. So start with the big board and then progress to the small board. So when you're deciding what board to choose, you want to realize there should be a big spread between your big board and your small board because I know I'm going to get a two board quiver, I'm planning for that. So my small board, depending on my size, will be more like this board. I would say around a 127 centimeter size is a great small board size. Small board kites offer one primary advantage. You can hold down more kite power. So when you're more advanced as a rider and you start going upwind and then jumping and doing tricks, the small board has a smaller water line or the amount of board that's actually in the water is less than a big board. And so that edging or the rail, if you will, allows you to hold back more kite power. And then when you jump in the air, a small board is just lighter and more nimble. So when I spin my body and do tricks, it's a lot easier with a lightweight small board. So you want to have small board, big board to cover the widest possible wind range. Realize that kite boards are a lot less expensive than kites. So two kite boards will expand the wind range of your kites. Now let's talk about the other choice. If you don't want to buy two kite boards, then you're going to buy one kite board. And if you're going to buy one kite board, you're really looking for that compromise in size. Not too small, not too big, because you want it to be your all-purpose board. This is a good all-purpose all board here, all-purpose size. It's 138 centimeters in length. And when you're looking for that medium-sized board, there are advantages besides cost savings. The cost saving, obvious, one board instead of two boards. But other than that, the advantage of a slightly bigger board and trying to use it in all-purpose is that when you are powered up and you've got a little bit more board in the water, you're able to perform the wake style tricks a little bit better because you've got more resistance with the bigger board and you can pop off the water very specifically for wake style tricks. 
So that would be one advantage to just picking an all around size. The other thing you should consider when selecting your kiteboard is your riding style. If you're not yet a kiteboarder, try to imagine what riding style best suits your personality. Do you want to ride aggressively? Do you want to ride powered up and jump as high as possible and start working on physically enduring tricks? Or do you want to be a cruiser? A cruiser would be more like someone who doesn't necessarily need to jump high and isn't going to work on very difficult physical tricks. If you're a cruiser and you would enjoy just simply digging the rail of the board in, leaning back, and enjoying a soul ride, you're going to want to go with a, not only a larger kite board, but also something with a flatter profile that planes early. Um, this style of board would allow you to go out with less kite power, so it's not going to be as physical. It's going to be more fun for you if that's your goal. A smaller kite board with a more aggressive shape, or what we're going to call a rocker line, we will define that in a minute is going to allow you to ride more aggressively. Simply put, jumping high and flipping and doing tricks, you're just going to want a smaller board with a more aggressive shape to it. So try to define the riding style that best describes you and select the board that would complement that.